And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and to everybody on YouTube for some Starlit Fate. We're going to be combining Starlit Seer and Twisted Fate uh, together. So we're going to be playing kind of like a, a mid-rangey Freljord deck with a lot of uh, units and a lot of spells, because we want to be able to... Uh, you know, take advantage of Starlet Seer. Whenever we cast a spell, grant the top ally of our deck plus one, plus one. So that means we're going to have things like coral creatures in here that can create random spells for us because it's, it's you know, a creature and a spell. And there we go. And then, you know, have some card advantage with, like, the salvage so we can dig farther. Um, uh, you know, we have Avros and Hearthguard also that... that uh, um, Makes our thing grow. We got like Yordle Grifter, which Yordle Grifter only has like a 50% chance of, of triggering the Allegiance. We're, we're half, you know, we're basically half and half here with Bilgewater and Freljord. Um, but still, it's just about getting the the Warning Shot. That Warning Shot's important. Not only is that, you know, a spell for Starlet Seer, but also um, Warning Shot is like that one damage that we can save in our hand and wait for Riptide Rex to turn on Riptide Rex. Because Riptide Rex is super powerful if you have that plunder ability. Um, but yeah, you know, Twisted Fate gets us the, the card advantage also so we, we can dig. Because <clears throat> while Starlet's here, you know, grows the creatures in your deck, but if you're not able to like draw those cards, it doesn't really matter. And so, you know, we got a good amount of card advantage in here we got some interaction um you know and we're just going to be trying to play some good old-fashioned uh legends of runeterra all right let's um change our board up a little bit let's go to the peaks with the powder monkey um emotes are good let's get this one Gotcha. And you're next. Okay, let's play some games. Yeah, Puppy is so shy. Yeah, picked up Puppy and she's just so shy. She's just laying down with using the, she uses the arm rest as like a chin rest. But then Harvey's the one that if I stop petting her, uh, she'll like start scratching up the chair and everything. All right, we don't need Brittle Steel, but I like the rest of this. I wish we were attacking on turn two, right? I wish we were playing Omen Hawk turn one and then untap, attack with Omen Hawk, hit him, and then pilfer goods. But Karma as. Oh, also we have Sejuani in this deck, by the way. And Sejuani's cool. So I didn't even mention Sejuani. Because that has a tune, it's basically just like one a one mana card for the pilfered goods. Yeah, we'll, we can use the parlay to kill this thing. Now, or just make a rain, we'll kill it. Let's make a rain's probably the more efficient thing. Give me two of these. What you got? A mystic shot? And Eye of the Dragon. Eye of the Dragon's good. Wow. Get excited on... My little coral creatures. Discarding Will of Ionia. Wow. Alright, I like this. I like 3-4 Starlets here. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Mm-hmm. Oh, I 
six mana. Really wish I had seven mana. I really want to do Make It Rain and Mystic Shot and Jowl Hunters. Alright, first pump. Closer to our next. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I was going to say, get closer to our next unit. Sejuani. It's an 8 9. It can't be very easy this will be a good winter. dealing with an 8 9. If I if I just play Sejuani, then they're gonna be chump blocking Sejuani. Do I wanna play Jowl Hunters first? No, we just play it. Pain is nothing. Oh wait, it has overwhelm. Right. Overwhelm's great. Hmm. That's also great. Alright, Yone... Yone's a problem. Ride onward. Yone's a problem. I would love to play Hunters, Hunters. Uh, do I just go for it and just hope they don't have Yone? Yeah, I guess it's going to be really difficult to beat Yone anyway. Just in general. Oh, come on. Why do you have to have it? A lot of these decks are, are you know, kind of trimming down on Yone. It's like they only have like two in their deck. have it. Whatever card you don't want them to have, they're going to have. By snow and That's how it works. Especially for me the last couple of days. I feel like I let that happen so I can play Grifter and Beast Below. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Awesome. Got a free card. Um. Better than eating. 
We're only 12 away from deep. Basically there. Alright, 17 cards left. I'm at 26. Yeah, that Starlet Seer did a lot of work still. Alright, good. No jury rig. Game. We get the sweet Sejuani animation also. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, for just a two mana card, Starlet Seer did a lot of work. Made that Sejuani in, in 8 9. I guess it got, I think it got, I guess it only got probably like four total triggers. But still. All right, same matchup. Same matchup. So I know Jaw Hunters dies very easily, but I like it because it does create that random sea monster in hand. And sometimes you're going to be able to pick something off with the Challenger, as we, we saw. Uh, we got to pick off that Yone with the large one before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is just a really good quality card. Speaking of really good quality cards, so is that Eye of the Dragon. I think the best sea monster hit is like the 5 mana 3-3 three, three elusive that draws a card whenever you hit with it. I think that's, like, the best one to draw. But. Alright, discarded Yone. Um. I don't think it's worth using both Elixir of Irons. And discarded a deep meditation. It is time. What is with her malevolence? Yeah, you don't want to class me. Uh, no free card. Even Warren is really nice. And we get to draw a card. Sejuani is so huge. Overwhelm too? Card is huge. Always keeping this thing in hand because of our 8-drop. Oh, this card's good against Karma. I guess I have another Yordle in hand. So I could fire this off and then pilfer goods. Also trigger that Sejuani. What's up, Shadow Assassin? What's up, Mystic Shot? We have so many good cards. We can't play them all. Twisted Fate? That card's awesome.
Like, I, I probably should have just played Devourer of the Depths to start with. No, no, because they would—they probably would have used a, a spell to get rid of the toughness. <laughs> yesterday from card drawing from the enemy deck, you got three judgments yesterday. I fight with my spirit. And the nine mana uh Demacia card. What? What am I supposed to do? All of my options are good. There's none that like stand out as like perfect, but they're all pretty good. I guess it's Shadow Assassin Twisted Fate. Never lost a fair game. Start drawing cards. Start leveling up this Twisted Fate. Counter that. I guess if I if I cast this and I can't draw for turn. This is going to be really annoying to fight through. Like, maybe I should just be attacking with, like, Omen Hawk just to kill it. They block with these life gain things. Alright, Twisted Fate's at 3 out of 8. Either Salvage plus Yordle Grifter or Sejuani. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. No, we missed. Really wanted to draw one of their cards. Know, get get another trigger for Twisted Fate. What's 
the card? It's a... Ooh. Pick a card, any card. That will level up to us at eight. Oh wait, we don't draw right now. Um, this is a bummer. Yeah, it's a bummer. Obviously, my opponent can kill me with Ezreal. That's we'll bring peace to kind of the, the way that we're the only way we're losing. I guess Karma may do some stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Two. No, Nautilus and Sea Monsters are not unfair. No, they're... They're perfectly fair. I don't... I don't expect... I mean, I don't even... I don't really consider them in the top tier of the metagame, honestly. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. So I could have warning shot on their their turn, which I maybe should have to flip the Sejuani, but I can't. I can't do additional. All right. So what are they doing? They're recalling Sejuani, then concussive palm on that thing. Clears up some battlefield room for us to play some new stuff. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Alright, so we're gold carding to do two damage to the Karma. Our Mystic Shot will finish off Karma. And then I can Sejuani again. Dead in their tracks. Or Hearthguard. It's probably better to Sejuani. We can frostbite enemies at any time but with this this warning shot this warning shot is just frostbite all their stuff yeah the problem is is if Ezreal kills us or not 
We're at 18. They don't have a ton of cards. Hopefully they don't have an Ezreal in hand. Um, that'll be nice if they don't. Sweet. I was going to use the 8 mana um, sea monster to make it difficult for them to block. My next turn giving it fearsome, and then I was going to use a bunch of brittle steels and stuff. There we go, GG's. It's been an impressive late game. Impressive card advantage. So far. Now, how do we do against a more aggressive deck? Dude, I know, right? Starlet Fate. Make it rain. Sorry, Rex. Getting mulliganed. No. There's a reason why I mulliganed you. That's been, like, the thing today, is we have we have done very poor with our, our first draws after mulliganing. That's kind of been, like, our problem with a lot of these losses, is um, we're really not hitting cards that we want after mulliganing. Like, obviously, I'd like to draw a two-mana card. Grifter. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. That man is going to be wasted anyway. me to do two damage to the misfortune um elixir or brittle steel oh wait no not oh yeah because brittle steel yeah, yeah yeah brittle steel this will work just fine because now we fight and that's zero power and so we kill it with the fight and then this gold card stuns the other thing and kills the other thing now Perfect. Oh wait, why am I not attacking? <laughs> yeah, that, that worked. Oh, I haven't really played any Armored Tusk Rider. Yeah, it's a card we need to experiment with. Badger Bear, nope. How can anybody ever beat Badger Bear? That card is busted. Here we go. It's just a, it just gets to attack for eight. I can't do anything about. I need this hearth guard to stay back and trade with their 4 4. Been quite a while, Sarah. So serious. 
I don't like that. Would I rather have a random one mana spell? Like, I'm playing these two this turn. Yeah, we're just doing this. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. All right, I whiffed. Come on, give me a good spell. Give me something good. No, it's slow. It's slow. I need like brittle steel. No, brittle steel doesn't stop four fours. Elixir of iron. Elixir of iron would have been great. Great. Dang. Uh, a new, yeah, new Demacia card, one mana instant, all your creatures gain tough this round. Great. We're trying to survive here. I'm gonna need you to do some work for me, Rex. Rex can get this though. No, you gotta be kidding me! Uh, I guess I'm not dead. We're still good. We're good. We're good. We're going down to one. Stand and defend. Love ya. Really glad we have this warning shot. Stabilize. Oh, nine damage. Why not? Why not eight or nine life? Why not eight life? Slow down, will you? Okay. Okay. I see a parlay. I see a parlay. Let's go. Yeah, I see a parlay. So they draw misfortune, I die. Hopefully they don't. Alright, Warchefs, we can deal with that. 
We can deal with that. Let's go. Three and O. Oh. We're at, we were at four and they have a misfortune out and attacked three times. And had combat trick. And we stayed alive. <laughs> That's not going to happen very often. You're at four, your opponent has a misfortune and attacks for three times, getting three misfortune triggers and you stay alive. Okay. I like this hand. Alright, actually, Elixir of Iron doesn't really matter against the Maokai Nautilus deck. Maybe I get rid of the Grifter also. I really wish we had the attack token on turn two again. We really want to play this on turn one. They don't play anything. And instead of us attacking on turn one for the one point, I'd like to attack on turn two and then cast Bill for Goods. Ooh, they have no two drop. That would be great also. No. Sad. Um. Come on, take it. Darn. That's just a dumb, dumb play. Like, they're definitely going to take it. I should just pass and see what they do, and then maybe make it rain. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Ooh, Rex. What's up, Rex? Ooh, all right. I'll take that. They're about to be deep. Maybe keeping this is bad against the deep deck. I don't know if I really want to take two of their cards right now. Probably don't. Wait till like after they're deep and like wait for them to keep tossing some more cards. And use this to like finish out their library, mill them out. I will tend this garden. Boys. Also, this was a dumb attack placement. I, even if if I wasn't going to brittle steal, I should have them gain the three life and then make them lose life. We have a 75% chance of this doing one damage to the Devourer. We have cast another. Make it so we have double 75% chance. To make it a very good chance. Now, hopefully we hit. I want to play the Hearth Guard. Come on, 75% chance? Yes!
Okay. So they're at 13 cards left right now. That's seven mana. Yuck. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Oh, I have ten cards in hand, too many. I'm just getting this card out of my hand. What's up, Scrub Lord? He made Catastrophe deck and it was unbeatable. Oh wait, do you mean like un un like winnable? Like you you didn't win any, or unbeatable? Like you didn't lose any? Those are different things. Oh, you didn't lose any. Okay, that cat is strong. Nice. Awesome. Good job. Have another Riptide Rex for next turn. Surprised they had nothing else to play there. Yeah, real surprised they had nothing else to play. Do I do Riptide Rex pre combat? Kind of do, but they could play like the 13 13. I guess that, that could just happen. Yeah, I mean, that could just happen. Seven. Ugh. They do like just a little bit more damage to them. Yeah, and they like auto pass. They don't have any cards to play right now. And how can I get one more damage in? We we're so close. Do I do this yet? Like vengeance. Yeah, maybe they're just sitting with toss in hand. They have to have like their champions. Like, their champions have to show up. I would think. Wayne 
Wow, I said Swain. Starlet Fate. Not Swain Fate. Starlet Fate. 4-0. Let's go. Can we get the elusive 5-0? Y'all get some final boss hype in the chat. Let's go. We've made it to the final boss. Can we get a 5-0? It is not easy getting five O's. Oh no, the hyper aggro deck. If they have like their best hand, you know, usually these kind of decks, if they if they have like their great hand, we're not gonna win, so we gotta hope they do not. Alright, we're gonna play turn one omen hawk that's gonna hit Starlet Seer as a 3-4. We're gonna have turn two, three, four Starlet Seer. That would be great. All right. Come on, deck. Give me the two drop. We need a two drop. Come on, Zach, give me a two drop. No. No, and not Boom Crew Rookie. Not turn two Boom Crew Rookie. Why do they have to have that card on turn two? This is the best two drop in the game. In the entire game. Better run. Come on, two or three drop. Oh man, we are dead. I mulliganed a lot. Yeah, I mulliganed three cards. The party has arrived. And then they have their champion on turn three. So, yep. Great hand. Terrible mulligan for me. Great hand for them. Thanks, Everos and Sentry. Too late. Yeah, best two mana follower. Not yeah, not not including champions. It's the best. It's the best one. Basically wanted to wait to see if they if they play a bunch more one one toughness things for Twisted Fate. Yeah, they had a, a really good hand, and I did, had a really bad hand. Oh well. Needed something on. I love that they're using that get excited there, not to get excited just to kill me. <laughs> like, with the broom rookie attacking, like that get excited, I was really dead. I mean, it looks like I'm still dead, but. You should try blinking sometime. My my chances went from like zero percent to you know five percent with that. Get excited. Ever consider a henching career? I just have to kill Boomker Rookie, don't I? I guess I have Sejuani. 
I can't challenge. Gotta get this Boom Crew Rookie off the table. Time to go. No, I mean I, I don't think that ag like I don't think that our aggro matchups necessarily very bad. It's just when ag when like these aggro decks have when they curve out perfectly, they beat you. And so that's what I was saying. That I was scared of. And you know we had no no two drops and no three drops. Our Mulligan was really bad. And they had a perfect hand. So, you know, they had, they had Boom Crew Rookie into Draven and into all this other stuff, too. I mean, that's... I don't think we need to, like, put in a bunch of stuff for the aggro matchup. It's just... The two things happen for us to lose. I don't have like, you know, I only have the one three drop. Um, but we have, we have eight two mana cards and six four mana cards. Yet we still drew, you know, three four drops and zero two drops. So my opponent has lethal burn, but they're just making fun of me. Or just telling me about it. The calm before the storm. So that should make them happy. Just keep switching. Okay, we went four and one. We got aggroed. They left me alive. That was a mistake. We got aggroed. Oh well. They had their boom crew rookie on turn two, and I couldn't have any of my eight two drops, even though I mulliganed all my cards, couldn't find any of my eight two drops. That's game. I guess if we can't make a rain, that would have been like eleven cards to play on turn two. That would have been good. We didn't have any of those 11 on turn 2 or or then, you know, 14 when you added Jaw Hunters on turn 3. Oh, well, I liked our deck. Riptide Rex looked really good at the top end. Um, just the deck in general. Yeah, like the, this just had a lot of really cool stuff. Like the EB Worn did some work. Everything did, everything did good. Like there wasn't any cards that I was disappointed in. Everything really did did work. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing I'd necessarily want to just like tr change immediately. This is a pretty sweet deck. All right, Starlet Fate. Great success. I have to say there. We'll take a 4-1 every day of the week. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you try out the deck yourself, of course, leave those comments and let me know. Um, how it's working for you, anything that you think uh, should change, anything you're struggling with, anything you're doing well against, all that kind of stuff. Cool, yeah, you're going to craft it? Yeah, let me know. How good Starlet Seer? Starlet Seer is good. You know, two mana, two, three is a good body. Um, sometimes you get lucky and it's, you know, it's a three, four from like an Omen Hawk, and then, then you're feeling like it's great. But um, yeah, like it, it can just put a bunch of counters on, on different things. Um, we had it, our first game, it put, like, three counters on the Sejuani, so there was, like, an 8-9 Overwhelm, and that was ridiculous. 
Um, yeah, so there we go. So that's Starlet Fate. All right. Uh, yep, I already said the rest of the spiel. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.